after the ball is over, after the skein is done, after the die lots finished, and you are short just one. Many a knitter has made. A tearful and desperate call, pleading with their local yarn shop, go after that ball. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Pen Hook and Needles podcast, episode five oh five. I think I'm working off of old show notes because my new ones didn't come in. Let me bring up mine. I'm pretty sure it's 505. I've got a new computer that I got for Mother's Day, and I think I need to have my husband re-download or re-upload the app for what I use to get my show notes to my Kindle. It is 505. It is 505. Okay, so so I may be um, kind of fumbling a little bit. Because the thank yous will not be accurate. Accurate. Yeah, yeah I'll so. just say thank you to everybody. I, yeah. I have an idea who's on there, but I don't want to leave anybody out, so I'll just say thank you at the end. But anyway, we want to welcome all new and returning viewers to the Fun in the Woman Cave. I am Marlisha, also known as Lady Fernico. And I'm Talia, also known as Franciscan Gypsy. As we said, we welcome everybody, and today is Monday, May 16th. 2022 as we are recording it's episode 505 yesterday was Davina's birthday so mm -hmm. that doesn't mean anything the month of Davina will continue <laughs> so I was going to ask you if we could bring her in to show the gift she got from JD but she's she cleaned the bathroom, cleaned the bathroom. Right? and this is not a good day to do it anyway no um if I remember maybe we can record something later and add it on but no this is a heart after the podcast I'm usually out for the rest of the day yeah and it's been a very um we actually got started early to get podcasting, and for whatever reason, we're still running late. So Because I can't go fast. No, but that's not it. And then we had issues with your show notes. Yeah, it's just my show notes and stuff like that. So Because how long did I sit here trying to get your show notes up? Mm -hmm. I guess we should say our tea. Um, do you go first because you have FOs and everything. Yeah, you also have five. Mm -hmm. And this is a little light because there's only four days between the podcasts. Yes. This uh -huh. time because we had to podcast on Wednesday last week. It was Wednesday, wasn't it? It was because I had two appointments Monday and you had an appointment on Tuesday. Right. Uh -huh. So just mixing in my sugar. Now I don't have to show my green tea honey. Um, that is not in here. I don't know why I thought it makes sense during tea. Um, as a stash in here, but because I uh, am almost done with mm -hmm. it. <laughs> it's actually making the Benefuki green tea palatable, palatable. <laughs> um i was able to go down on sugar a little bit and because i have pretty much constant i usually get a sore throat almost every evening if not before then just because the mast cells so i'm trying to put more honey in my diet so i might be getting different honeys for the different kind of teas because that's available on adagio and maybe i can go down on sugar and do honey instead who knew that if you had the proper honey it actually makes you don't have to go with like 20 million <laughs> More honey, 20 million more honey. That doesn't make sense. Anyway, physician, I don't have the proper thing um, on and By hand. thing, she means label. Yes. Um, this is a tea that I blended on Adagio. Uh, uh, there's a couple people who really like this one mm -hmm. that are not Me. just mom. <laughs> uh, Woody, Irishman. <laughs> yeah, because uh, they keep picking this one up, which is cool. This, yep. is, this is not what I... Uh, I happen like chamomile, but I didn't necessarily expect this to be... Um, as popular it's got white monkey which is a i believe that one is the chamomile um it's an egyptian chamomile and then the fox trot i think is the green tea it's got yerba mat corn flowers and marigold flowers i've heard people say that they can feel the mat in there i can't it, to me it's just a chamomile no it doesn't uh affect me either um i think maybe that maybe some people maybe that maybe I'm, I'm all i think maybe some people are more sensitive to mott. I enjoy mott. I mean, it does help me a little bit, as witnessed by the fact of the um, uh, one that I like so much, uh, the little gray cells. Oh yes, that uh, one. That one does. Mm -hmm. I can be tired, and I, I mean, it's not like a zing. Like some people feel like they get a real, you know, punch up of their energy. I don't. It just wakes me up a little bit. Right. But uh, go ahead. 
Uh, so that's what I said. This mug. Is, oh, nothing. okay. So this is my I'd Rather Be Knitting mug. I'm pretty sure I got this off of Amazon at some point. Um, I probably was just looking at knitting mugs in particular. I know at one point I really wanted the Knit Picks one that they had. Yeah. Um, but I think this is actually my only knitting mug. I might have one downstairs. But this is the only one I really use because it's a good size. Right. Well, this is it. I meant to pick up my crocheting owl bag. Uh, bag. Hmm. The, we're going to have to call this errors and mistakes or something. <laughs> or a, or a episode of outtakes. Um, Series of unfortunate events. Yes. This is, um, this is what my daughter's head looks like. I've been using this. I wanted to use my owl mug, the crocheting owl that Chronically Crocheting, whose crystal gave me. And I intended to use it, but this is what I picked up. So, and in it I have um, chocolate chai pura, pur, puer. I, purer, and I don't have it with me right now. It's an adagio tea, but I don't have the tin right with me. It's up, up there. I just didn't think about bringing it because, yeah, scattered. Um, also, we don't usually bring the tins. I just didn't put it mine mm. in the back of my room. I usually do. Um, I don't always. Let's see here, because it has all the ingredients in it. Okay, so moving on, we have um, so a couple of alongs going on, and the first one, did somebody, no, okay, the first one is Autism Awareness, and that one is an all year long Cal Cal Lal, started January 1st, it goes all the way to the end of December 31st, when you go, roll into January 1st of 2022, it's finished. It's hard to believe that we're almost halfway finished with it already. Yeah. So that's... Oh, no, this is not... I'm sorry. What? This is not our whole year long. This is our three-month one. Yes. Yes, this is our three-month one. Did this, you say all year long? Yes, I did. Oh, okay. Our first one, uh, our first... This is our three-month... Boy, I can imagine why people are just saying, we don't want to watch these people. They don't know what they're talking about. Um, Autism Awareness, I'm sorry, goes from April through June. July, April through... April, May, June. July 1st starts the next along. So three months for the autism awareness. I think we need a reboot. Yeah, I think we do. Tea's not even helping. Um, it might help if you drink tea. Yes. What tea are you having again? I only said if I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> you sound like Drax the Destroyer. <laughs> um, I, I'm having a chocolate chai pura. Uh, okay, that's right. You said, uh, that's right, because I corrected you and said it's pura. Okay. Okay, now... The Autism Awareness Cal Cal Lao goes from April through the end of June, which is June 30th. So we're um, about halfway through it. And this is just to foster autism awareness and to, to knit with pretty bright colors. Knit crochet and loom knit with pretty bright colors. And I usually knit with such dull colors. Yes, so do I. Um, Okay, I already said all that. The hashtag for Instagram is PHNAA2022 on Instagram. And we have a co-host. That's Laura, who's crocheting Hoovian. She's done this with us forever, I think, for eight or nine years out of the ten. I think she's done it with us. So she's a, uh, she's a, what's it called, fixture. She's a fixture for this along. And so we're glad to have her with us. The... Featured patterns and featured yarns are always the same across our, our longs for the core featured patterns and yarns. My yarns and, and or pattern, Taya's patterns and Laura's yarns and patterns are always featured, okay? Anything by us if it fits the parameters of the along. If you use a pattern and a yarn together for a finished object, you get three chances at a prize. If you only use a pattern or a yarn, then it's two chances at a prize for the finished object only. You're responsible for your own multiple postings. We also have a few other featured patterns for this. We have 10 Hours or Less with George. He did a braided bright pattern for us way back when we first started the alongs, and that's always been a featured pattern for this. And also the um, oh, Modest Creation, who used to be Miss World, she did a weighted lapgan and teddy bear pattern for, um, for this along. She developed for this along. And if you do the blanket and the pattern, then the bear, then you have, Taya, yes. are you awake? I'm awake. Okay. If you do the pattern and the 
the bear, the blanket and the bear, then that can be two different entries because it's two different items. Unless you use less than 50 yards, which I don't think you're going to do. No. So, um, yeah, let's see here. Projects must be knit, loom knit, or crocheted, and they must be bright colored. We say about 85 to 90 percent. In our group, Laura might have slightly different rules. Um, as we've said repeatedly, we're not going to, you know, go measuring. We trust you. If you say it's bright, it's bright, um, unless it's absolutely obvious, like it's black or something or, or brown or, you know, gray. gray or white or something like that, okay? Now, let's see. I already did one whip per project per week. And if the projects are small, like below 50 yards, then please post it with another project that's 50 yards or more. We do have prizes. They're over there. <laughs> um, but I just haven't pulled them out. Okay? Surprises. So, yeah, surprises. Um, okay. And I already said what the feature patterns and yarns are, so that's fine. I believe... Do we have a Modest Creation tagged in our show notes? We... In the Etsy shop? The her Etsy shop? Um, I don't know. Okay, well, this is, um... I not that we do show notes, you mean the description. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can do any project you like. Those are the featured ones that we mentioned, featured yarns and projects. You can use any pattern, any yarn you like, as long as it's bright colored. And if you want the multiple postings, then the, mod the multiple chance at a prize, then all you have to do is have a featured pattern, a featured yarn, or a featured pattern, a featured yarn. Okay. All right. PHNT and Tails is our year-long one, okay? And that one's been going since January 1st. It goes until 2022, going into January 1st, 2022. And basically the rules are the same, um, except that it runs all year long. And um, it doesn't have to fit the theme of any particular bright color or anything. That has to fit the theme of T and or Tails. And we discussed this multiple times that novels, play, uh, plays that have a story, short stories, graphic novels, novelizations of movies, if the movie came out first, um, things like that. Children's books that have a full story, fables, uh, fairy tales, things like that, all that, those are stories. So let's have a mid beginning, middle, and end, okay? So we, that means even some narrative poetry, all right? Uh... The featured yarns and patterns, obviously my stuff, Laura's stuff, and Taya's stuff, as I said before, but also in this one, Joanna Johnson, she's uh, knitted, and Mom Cook, who is loom knitted, and um, Bryony Bears, Byrony, Bryony Bears, Bryony. who is uh, KF Jones from Bakery Bears, if it's, as long as it's T and Tails related, T and or Tails related, okay? And the same multiple posting rules require, um, are necessary here. You you just have to follow the same rules for that. The hashtag and, and you can only take part of your when you're in the group. And if you're in the group, you can see the first post. It tells you all the rules. As well. Yeah, yeah. It's hashtag PHNT and Tales 2022 on Instagram. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, I lease it to. <coughs> Excuse me. Lease into whips. Okay. I think part of the reason I'm so fuzzy headed is because I had, had this thing I'm trying to. My, my husband and my daughter both had. Davina. Yeah, Davina. Well, I don't usually say my daughter when you're sitting here. Um, both had colds, and I think they gave me some of it, and so I'm kind of fighting some fuzziness as, along with other things. Don't share the cold. No, I don't think it's. A, I think it's allergies kind of heightened by the cold. Mm -hmm. oh. I've been mega dosing my vitamin C. So, in my Silver Shed USA um, 10 year anniversary bag, this is the large. I think that's the extra large. Okay, so this is either large or extra did, large. No, yeah, because I got you. Did I get you the big one and the small one? Yes. The biggest and the smallest? That we I had don't know if you got me the biggest. I know you got me the biggest. Th if that's the uh, largest one we got, it's an, an extra large. Okay. Um, so this is Canary Song. The pattern is Comfort Yourself with Your Music. It comes from the book Little Women Knits by Joanna Johnson. And I think on the last repeat 
for the chart. Um, and then I can bind off the main part of the sweater and think of the sleeves, which shouldn't take too long because they're not. So you said you think you are on the last I, repeat? I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm on the, um, the last, the last part of the, um, sh the last, I'm on the last chart and I'm about halfway through. It looks really pretty. So. Looks like you have a neck hole. I know it's an arm hole, but it looks like you have a neck hole. There uh, you go. So. That's going to be real pretty. It'll be nice to have this, um. Uh, and she called it a shawl sweater, so eventually I will knit, like, a real sweater from this yarn as well. I have goals. Mm. It's good to have goals. Um, the cool thing is that I'm pretty sure that this skein will be all that's needed to finish the sleeves, and I'm pretty sure I'll have some left over. So this one will be unused. Um, I know I intend on making a hood with it, which means that that will probably take up what remains one plus half, you yeah. got me another one or two, i think got me another one for christmas did i mm -hmm, pretty sure or your birthday or something something like that um i know i have at least one other skein i think it was for your birthday because i think i got it on the christmas sale okay um because laura uh crocheting hoovian said hey they've got it on sale so um do you want to get it this what'll probably happen is after to make the hood I'll start slowly accumulating this yarn to make it a full-on sweater, and I want to get enough to do a cabled sweater. Are you talking about another DK weight, like a Yaza weight? Or yeah, I'll look for a pattern that's a Yaza. Mm -hmm. um, it's, a, it's a DK weight because, you know... What about that, um, Jane, what was it I showed you just yesterday? You have it in that book. Um, it's not a cable, but it's got some pretty I pattern. feel like... Um, not the right color for it? No, it, it, I think that I, I, I don't want to say I want all that fancy work in there because that's a fan. That's one that requires, that's not just a simple sweater. You don't think, I, I, I thought it was just more like a kind of a raised and lowered, like a checkerboard. That looks like it's a pretty complex sweater. That's, um, when I, I mean, eventually I might stick this mm -hmm. in something like that, but mm -hmm. I want a just plain sweater with right. this at some point. We're talking about the book, uh, what is it, Tudor Knits? It's called Tudor Knits. Um, I have it in my room. I've had it forever. Um, from what I understand, the designer is a bit proprietary. Like, she can, from what I recall, um, she really doesn't like um, people posting necessarily pictures and stuff. Well, if it's a finished object, there's no reason not to. That's what it. I remember about her. Maybe my memory's wrong. I just she can't do that. She can she can she can ask you not to post progress because maybe people can get it from there. But she can't ask you not to post your sweater. That's not that's, that's what I remember. But maybe I'm remembering wrong. I mean, I, she I, can I, ask you, but she has no right to have you not do that. It's not it's not a copyright issue. It's a sweater that you made. Um. So that's what I recall. Um, oh, Ad sure. Adrian Koo, that's her name. Adrian. I'm Koo. sure you recall correctly, but that's silly. I mean, that's ridiculous. You well, you're not gonna you're not gonna be able to wear it because it's her pattern. I mean, that's ridiculous. She has a ton of. Um, I think she's a couple books. They're all complex and they're all pretty. Well, that's great. But my point uh -huh. is, she has no right to say you can't post a picture. That, you're that's finished. what I recall. But it was a very long time ago, mm -hmm. and maybe I'm misremembering. I, I mean, I can see. Like I said, I can see. Don't post whips. I prefer you not post whip pictures. I mean, mm -hmm. she can't tell you what to do anyway, regardless. Well, it kind of falls in that same area of people saying don't sell the, your um, finished Finish toys. Objects, yeah. When, you know, honestly, all you really own is the pattern. You right. can't tell people what to do. Yeah, unless you're selling the toys yourself. Even then, it's like they made it. Yeah, well, it's still, you have to be careful. It's yeah. one of those things it's, that... It's like, it's like a person taking a picture of a celebrity and then selling it without their permission. That's their image. That's slightly different. I don't know that it is. I don't know that it is. I'd be interested in seeing where that falls because you paid for the pattern. You mm -hmm. didn't pay to take that person's picture. And the mm -hmm. pattern is not your identity. Um, yeah. There are other things, though. There are other things. I'd be interested in see where that falls because I do know um, that, you know, the pattern itself is your intellectual property. Yes. But I don't think even places really can enforce please only use this to for charity. It 
you could say it, but I don't think you can really do anything about it, even if you have it on your pattern, because that's theirs. They they made it. They used their yarn. They used their eyes. You know, but they can't they can't sell the pattern. They no, can't and they, they can't make any changes on it. Um, no, they can't um, do anything to uh, make changes and sell it. Yeah, they can't do anything with the pattern itself. Mm -hmm. But I don't think that there's really anything you could do if someone chooses to make it make the toy or whatever and then sell that object even though it feels really weird as a designer if i was to see my mm -hmm. toys pop up and someone else selling them i honestly don't think i'd have any real leg to stand on sorry guys my phone are you done mm -hmm. okay in my Plover Pink and Purple Teacups bag, and you guys have seen this multiple times, it's, I keep saying I'm going to finish it, and I never really sit down and do it. Um, this is my Comfy Cozy Shawl from the Scrap Shawl Pattern by Anastasia Zatel. And it, it, I've got a few rows to go on it, not too many, I don't think. It's getting quite large. You can see. Presumably the reason that this isn't getting any larger any quicker is because I'm not working on it. I thought that the shawl fairies would do it, but no. Well, so then you only have a few days between podcasts, that doesn't help either. Yeah, and then when you have birthday to to prepare for mm -hmm. and all that kind of stuff, you know, because even though it was a quiet one as far as Davina is concerned. It um, still required. It stuff. still requires, you know, being present and doing things. And I had to, you know, do other meals for the rest of the week and all that kind of stuff. So my knitting and crocheting kind of suffered today, this week. And I just haven't had the focus, as you can tell by my speaking. I just need to sit down and slow down. I think part of it is being always so rushed that there's always other things in my mind that kind of crowd out what I want to say. Or I'll be talking and something else will pop up in my mind and then I forget what I was saying. So I need to stop doing that. I need to take some stock and say, okay, slow it down, find out what's really important and do that. And, and then, you know, the rest of the stuff, whether you do it, you do it. If you don't, you don't. Because it's just too much and life is too short to be rushing all the time, forgetting stuff. You see, for me, it's just like, I feel like there's, in my brain, it's just, a heavy fog. And Crystal, I think Crystal was saying, the, not the video she's just posted, but the one before. I think she was saying something. Maybe it was the last video. I haven't completely watched the last one. Because it feels like there's actual there's, physical weight to it, even though I know there isn't. Yeah, she was having trouble focusing. I believe it was one of the last videos I watched where she was having trouble f focusing. I don't know, part of it's the weather, part of it's your meds, um, part of it's just whatever. I know that, you know, sleeping is kind of a dream, the lack of pun, but uh, pun not included, uh, intended. Uh, can we just do this podcast over tomorrow? <laughs> uh, can't really because I have an appointment, but. No, you don't want to. Mm -mm. This is going to be full of bloopers and full of nonsense because apparently we're unable to put together. Well, it's not going to be bloopers. It's going to be in there because I'm not taking it out. No, I'm just, no, I'm, that's why I'm saying it's a video of bloopers because mm -hmm. it just is what it is because we're not going, if we take everything out, you're not going to have a video apparently. So, um, did you show a project? Mm hmm Okay. You never listen. No, I'm, I'm having trouble focusing. Mm. Um, mm. and I can't remember what it was you showed. A scrap shawl. Oh, okay. Uh, so next for me is in my Knit for Brains teapots bag, which was a uh, gift from Laura. In here is my Laura's hood, and it's a Thorns hooded cow. I honestly I don't think I've gotten very much work on it since the last time I showed it. I mean, I worked on it all last podcast, and I might have worked on it a little bit since then. But I had other fish to fry, so this kind of... Well, does it help when you have a whole bunch of different interests, and you also have limited capacity to focus? Well, I have this thing where if I sit, I, I can't tell you how many times... I'm not sure if you have this on your phone, where if you 
hold down, it makes all your icons shake a little bit, so you can either delete them or move oh, okay. them or whatever. Mm -hmm. I can't tell you how many times I've been doing something, and when I refocus, all my icons are shaking because my I fell asleep for a couple of seconds, and my hand slipped, and um, it laid on the phone long enough to actually make it think that I was trying to change things. Well, I did something... Uh, and it happens all the time. Or I'll drop things. I, I fall asleep and I drop things. I did something um, this past weekend, I think it was. Maybe Friday or Saturday, I forget which. I never do this. I was doing something, watching a video, or must, maybe it was Saturday or Sunday. And whatever I was doing, and all of a sudden I spilled my tea. Mm -hmm. I just holding my tea. And That's a fair one that I'll do something like that because I'm constantly... Yeah. Uh, Pressing, I, one of these days I'm going to buy something by accident because I fell asleep while doing something on my phone. Well, you ha you, you can't buy something though unless you look at the Amazon or whatever. So. True. But and, I, and my biggest concern is sometimes Amazon will have this buy now. Right. Right. Um, now, granted, most of the time, if I have something that's a buy now kind of thing, it's a Kindle book. Mm -hmm. And I can return it pretty quickly if I really don't want it. Um, but that's one of my... Um, Fears I'm going to spill my tea falling asleep randomly. Yeah, I had to actually, I was like, oh, that, I was, I was lucky that it wasn't overly hot. I was about halfway through the tea or, and I didn't, I was sad because I was really, I enjoyed the tea that I was having. Um, but yeah, I must've spilled about maybe an eighth of it, you know, just all over my pants, all over. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to wash my pants now. Um, not something I normally do, although I am tired quite a bit, mm -hmm. but anyway, it was just, it was a little funny, but not really. <laughs> Are you done? Yeah, I showed it. Okay. In my Knit for Brains, very... Her phone just buzzed, that's all. Yeah. Very bright teapots bag, my owl teapots bag that did Laura we, Concert did, gave me. Did we remember to put the facts on? No, I'll do it in a second. I forgot to turn on my light, too. This, yeah, I did, too. This is... um. Laura Concer gave it to me. It's a knit, uh, knit for Brains bag, which is really nice. And I also have a Thorns Cal in it. And when, I did some work on this. When you get up to the facts, can you hit the blue light? Yeah. Because I, I don't have my light here. This is a slate, slate blue colorway, which I think is probably neck and neck with my regular slate color. Now, this is a really pretty color. It reminds That'd me, be pretty in a sweater. Yes. And it reminds me very much of the federal blue that I love so much because some of my... The first part of my, what I call my formative years in terms of knowing what I like, you know, when you get to about high school age and you start liking, you, know, you start for, forming your own ideas mm -hmm. about what you like. I was in Massachusetts, in, in outside of Boston, Lexington Concord area. So my freshman and sophomore year, and then I came back to school in Connecticut and went home. My parents were restationed in, in Massachusetts. So I had a lot of exposure to the federal blues and the forest greens and the that dusty rose and all that kind of stuff, but I love those colors. And this reminds me of the federal blue. This would be really pretty in a swing sweater, sweater like this one. Yes, it would. It would be very pretty in that. that. Um, if the one sweater that I have on the needles for you with the um, alpaca works out okay, um, and you like the way it swings, mm -hmm. we can probably put something like this in that. Well, that would be pretty. That, w that would be a really nice, because that one you made me is green, right? You're making me green? Yeah, mm -hmm. yes, because I, I have blue, so, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, I, I tend to wear a lot of blues and greens and grays. Mm -hmm. I do wear a fair amount of reds as well, but, um, you know, I don't wear as much of, like, the yellows and stuff that Talia started to pick up. And you never, you don't really wear orange. I used, I would wear burnt orange, but not a whole lot of orange. It's just not something I wear a whole lot of, but I do like the burnt orange. It's kind of an autumn, autumnal kind of color, and I do like those colors. But I don't wear a whole lot. I think because it doesn't go really well with my skin tone. Um, you see, I I have the same skin tone, mm -hmm. and I've had people compliment me on my oranges and yellows. Yeah. Now, I don't know if part of it is because not a lot of people wear a full orange outfit the way right. I will. Now, I had a beautiful yellow outfit uh, when the girls were little, when we were in, te in Texas. Uh, skirt set, absolutely g gorgeous, bright yellow. I probably couldn't fit in it anymore, but it was a bright yellow skirt and... Um, I think I want to talk, I want to say it's one of those kind of tailored tops mm -hmm. that were popular in the 80s, the late 80s. And, um, Do they have shoulder pads? No, they didn't. 
Um, but it was a beautiful, and that's why, you remember that yellow belt I wear sometimes that you can kind of, I kind of tie it a little bit? It, Vaguely. That was where that came from. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it didn't go with it, but I went and got, got it um, when, I, when I picked it up. My husband used to, my husband loves me in yellow. I think it washes me out, but he loves me in yellow. So I guess I'll have to look into it, but I don't particularly care for yellow for, for I mean, clothing. He hasn't said anything in a while, mm -hmm. and if, you should really wear what you like to wear. Yeah. I've, pink has grown a little bit on me, but it has to be the right kind of pink. I, I really love the dusty rose and mm -hmm. that kind of color. The fuchsia is kind of pretty because it's a, more of a jewel tone. I'm not a, a Barbie pink or a baby pink or bubblegum pink. Those are Davina's colors. I did pick up when All Heart had a um, sale for nurses um, week. Mm hmm I uh, got a purple scrub top. Right, right. Because um, there's no real reason I, I purple goes with my skin tone. Yeah. I like the jewel tone purples. Um, this is a nice bright purple. Yeah, yeah. The jewel tone purples, and it's funny because I don't wear a whole lot of it, but I love to work with it. Oh, I, I do too. I it's love fun. dyeing yarn in purple. I don't and know. I don't know why I don't wear it I don't, because I, don't. I can. Yeah, I can wear it too. I just never do. I mean, I, I just never do. It's just a really weird thing. Mm -hmm. um, oh, you were going to turn on the facts. Yeah, I was. I was. I just wasn't finished talking. Okay. okay I just want to make sure you didn't forget. Yeah, no, I did. I, was, I just finished this roll here. Let me go do that while you start yours. Right, Watch a little picture. bit of stuff on here. Don't forget the blue light we have. Yeah. I'm going to put this away here. Put my pattern in so I'm not looking for my pattern later. Do you have a mat on? I have very good. Okay. Okay. All right. Let me just don't start talking till I get up. Otherwise, you'll be having to waffle. Okay. All right. Okay. okay. Go ahead. So, um, in my Silver Shed USA ornaments bag that uh, Brittany gave me for Christmas ornament patterns, but. I have not had the brain power to design those right now. And instead I chose to put in here um, Christmassy. These are the finish line. This socks by Lara Smoot. That's the pattern. Um, and I um, was initially going to I had found some Korean Walcher patterns that were fingering weight. I was going to uh, switched patterns over because I thought I was still only on the first sock. No, I finished the first sock and part way through the leg on the second one. So I'm like, now nah, I'm gonna just finish up the finish line. Is she? <coughs> is she only socks? Um, oh, excuse me. I think she has other patterns too. Mm -hmm. I just happen to only have worked her sock patterns. Mm -hmm. Um, but this and um, this is a nice pattern. It just got it has a lot of purling. I was getting bored of the purling. Right, right. Well, Laura Smoot makes a really good design. I don't, um, I don't know. This her, is actually my first design I've worked of hers. I've worked a couple and I've, and I've taken a couple out, not because I don't like them, but because maybe I was, it was too advanced for me at the time. And, and she gifted me several of them. She's very talented. Um, I don't know if her patterns are still available. Laura Smoot. I don't know. Um, this is a uh, dragonfly fibers. I think this is a dragon sock. So even though it doesn't have nylon in it, it should hopefully hold up. Um, I mean, it's not, it's a little bit of a workhorse yarn, so it gives me some hope. You, it's not. It's, oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I think it might be able to hold up to the abuse, um, even my abuse. And, um, this is the, uh, Stole Christmas colorway. So, I was given this yarn for, um, helping. At Dragonfly Fibers. At Dragonfly Fibers. Over, over at uh, the, Shenandoah. It's the one and only time I've dreamt about yarn. Where, like, a specific yarn where I felt like I needed to have it. Right. Uh -huh. She was actually worried about it. <laughs> well, I, I dreamed about it at night. I don't yeah, do that. Because we, we worked Friday, and then we worked part of Saturday. And we didn't get our free yarn until so Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. Um, I forget what I got. It was a pretty yarn. And I know I picked up another yarn. I did, too. There. Oh, we both but bought this, things. This was the one that I was concerned about. I wanted to make sure I got this. And I was so afraid that, because I think there was only one skein left. I think she was going to hold it for you, though. Um, I don't think I had expressed oh, okay. to her because she hadn't. 
uh, she hadn't said she was going to give us a free one until oh, the next right. day. Yeah, that's right. That's right. So, but you know, she would never have had just one because it was Friday when we worked the first time. True. And maybe I just open. saw the one. Yeah, it, you might have gotten just a little nervous that maybe somebody get in. But we got there early. We always yeah. got there early. But because um, when you help, you can come in early. Yeah. So I'm about a little over halfway through this leg. The only reason why I'm not working on the podcast is because I'm fogged enough that I probably can't podcast and knit this correctly at the same time mm -hmm. because you don't have this. It's a two row repeat. I'll probably mi mess up where I'm at in the repeats. Right. So I'm finding that working on something's helped me focus right now. But what I'm doing is very simple, though. Well, this is very simple, too, but uh -huh. well, mine is even more simple. I'm not doing anything. I'm well, that's garter. why I'm doing this one. I'm <clears throat> just gartering. Um, but nothing I, I have that I'm working here is really complex. I don't even consider Canary Song complex. I forget who I was listening to the other day who was talking about, I want to say it was Crystal, but I'm not sure, who was saying that um, all she wants to work is things that are are not really difficult because well, she can't focus. Well, that sounds like K. Well, that it, I haven't really watched anything of K's. Um, but it might have been, you know. It just sounds like something, she, like, she, she loves things that look complex and are simple. That's why I like her patterns so much. You know, they, that and the fact that she has a gazillion tutorials. If I uh, had to drop all my, you know, craft stuff that's paid for, I don't have a whole lot, but if I did, and I could only keep one, I would keep theirs. Mm -hmm. Because uh, they are very eclectic and they, um, they have a lot of stuff that's helpful. Their tutorials and things like that. I, I love them. I just haven't been able to watch them mm -hmm. for a while. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Sometimes I regret having to drop them, um, but I'm not, I wasn't watching this consistently as I wanted to, but I feel like I really want them again right now that maybe I can think about it because now I have income coming yeah. in. And Davina also will still want to do that for you because yeah. she, that, that was her thing. Yeah. And if you want to do the thing for my sisters that I was doing, um, let me know. We'll do that. I can. Do, you can do the five, or you can do the ten. Okay. This is. Um, I just. Okay. I didn't. I, did I need this to back. link to their Patreon so I could see if they're providing enough for me to really. Right. Well, I just want to support the sisters. Yes, yeah, true. Um, this is my B wings uh, country bag. I forget what I call this bag. You call it country roots, don't you? That's the blanket. Is it? And my B wing country bag is my country rose blanket from the Jelly Roll pattern by K F Jones, and. Believe it or not, I'm using US 8s on this. Um, why do I have US 10 on here, too? I don't, I'm not using US 10. Okay. I'm using one size. But anyway, I did some work on this. I thought I'd be finished with this color by now, this particular color. But one of the reasons I, I do know why I haven't made more progress on this, I've been taking it with me when I go places. And if Davina's not there to pick the yarn, I didn't want to finish the yarn. Oh, uh, so, yeah. Because yeah. um, you likes, haven't had a reason to take her with you every single time. No. So it's it's just this little blue green color is getting larger and it's you know taking its time growing but then I'll have her pick another color when I'm done. She and does look forward to that. And those are longer than doing the mitered square so you won't be held up like if I was to wait mm -hmm. every time I did a mitered square I'd never be able to move on. No. But those and, can be as you long also, as you need it to. Right. And also you can um uh do it you have so many small squares you can just do one and mm -hmm. you know she has uh, all, many times to pick to pick a color many chances whereas this is it takes a little longer i had to look into one of those um beekeepers because for whatever reason i think because it makes me think of a quilt i've always liked the beekeepers but the idea of knitting a beekeeper drives me insane it's squares it's, it's, i i i it's like in a, it's, in a, it's sitting there in my brain mm -hmm. like i want to do this thing but it do, looks like it's just like putting it together will be not the most fun thing ever. And that's my idea. I don't want to have to sew it. I don't but it'll be so like a quilt. Oh, it'll be so pretty. I would love to do something like that. But the problem is, is that I don't do well with blocks. And those are blocks. Let's face it. It's piecing things. I, I don't have a problem with I that. I just don't do it. I mean, I, I'd like to find something similar to it in crochet. But I just don't seem to do well with that. If I could, if I learn how to pick up stitches like on this, like I think I will, then maybe I can do something like that. But I just... Well, I don't know. I feel like it, I don't know how the uh, beekeepers put together to take a look at it. I don't know. I, because it's actually stuffed. I think I have a block against, no pun intended, um, 
against doing squares and blocks mm -hmm. and pieces like that where it's just the only thing I might not have a, a block on that is like a sweater or something mm -hmm. uh, and obviously toys but even even toys right now have been difficult for me I just don't want to piece anything right so but anyway this is moving along nicely um, I will eventually get to the point where I have to add on stitches I mean add on uh, pick up stitches and add on different colors sideways as opposed to length this is gonna be pretty somebody I was in the doctor's office last week and they were like well that's really pretty I think they thought it was a scarf of some kind mm -hmm. I, I can see that yeah I can see that let's just you done? yeah so um <coughs> excuse me in my Little skein, the big wool velveteen rabbit bag, um, are my rainbow socks. The pattern is Vanilla Cream by KF Jones. Um, and honestly, even more than the advent calendar, what might bring me back is when she, she tends to have patterns really release early, or she will release just to patrons. And since I've started doing her socks, and I really enjoy her socks, right. that she tends to do. A lot of socks is free patterns. Um, you know that could eventually be worth it to me. So I'd have to think about it. that because I did get a lot out of the. Um, I think I did almost every single pattern she had for the knitty you. Right. Um, I did the socks. I just happened to choose the wrong yarn. Right. So that wasn't her fault. Um, I did. Let's see, it was socks. Was it a hat? I don't remember. I think so. Because um, I did like two or three of the patterns for Nitty U, like one after another. Mm -hmm. um, like I used it last time because I kept up with her. Not so much with the socks. Right. Or maybe I did with the socks and I didn't do it with the other one. I can't remember. I'd be more likely to do some of those if they were shawls or well, something like that. You know, the bigger ones are harder mm -hmm. to do something like that with because if you want it to be a shorter program, right? Um, and you want everyone to feel like they can at least have, like, say, one sock finished by the end or right. a hat by the right. end. Well, I don't know how long their quarter or semester or whatever is. I gave you the hat because it was a bulky weight hat. I did it out of. You gave me the hat? Yes. I used um, uh, James C. Brent, and it was two colors. It was oh, a I very, remember. It yeah, was a slip yeah. stitch. I have it, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, or a mosaic or something. Yeah, I um, have it. Mm -hmm. And I, I gave it to you. that Because um, she was going from bulky. She was trying to go through the weights. Mm -hmm. And that one was bulky. And she must have done another one in between that and the sock. No, the sock was a heavier weight. So she was working her way down to fingering. Mm -hmm. uh, but, yeah. It was the hat that I finished on time. Right. It was a pretty hat. It it was. Um, I just knew that I wasn't likely to wear it, so I gave it to you. And also, the colors were they're purple and blue. Right. I do remember the hat now. It's in my drawer. Um, I should have found it when the leather was so cold. It would have been nice mm -hmm. for my ears. Um, let's see. So, now I finished my needle. First sock has been done a while, other than weaving in the ends. Apparently, for whatever reason, I was too lazy to weave in the ends like I normally do. Because normally I will weave in the ends as I go. So that when I'm done with the second sock, I don't have to weave in ends for both of them. Mm. Uh, for whatever reason, I didn't feel like doing it this time around. Um, here's the second sock. So I'm making my way down. This I tend to have at least one of these on the needles. Uh, because this is a nice, simple, round, round, round knit. Right. Um, looks like I made the leg a little longer than I normally do for this. Um, but anytime there's a yarn that seems too busy for any pattern, I can stick it in this pattern. Right. Um, and they do stay up pretty well. I have the Eclipse socks in that. Um, so, yeah, I think this has our umbrella toe in it. Very cool. So yes, that's that's that. I'm, for this sock, I'll do the green heel and the purple toe. So I'm kind of looking forward to getting to the heel. Okay. 
I'll finish this stitch. In my PH and Silver Shed large bag. Let's see time. This one's a large bag. Okay, yeah. Oh. Yeah, they're both large. Huh. So it's not X large. It's not X large, it's large. I must have gotten you those two sizes for whatever reason. Because. Well, uh, you asked me my preferences, and I said whatever you think, other than the medium. It says on here large, but I think that one's the large because that's. That's, I think this is the extra large because we had medium, <coughs> excuse me, medium, large, and extra large on offer. And that one's up there with my, you know, that medium ish largest size. And this one is, anyway, this is one of them. Okay, it's our 10 year anniversary bag. And I have in here that M and did a fantastic job on. And I have in here my, um, Spring Flowers Baby Blanket from the Cerebell Scarf Pattern by Sarah Sweethearts. I know and someone com complimented that, uh, so they really liked that. Oh, did they? Mm -hmm. I can't remember this podcast, this okay. past podcast the cool. one before. Um, I didn't see it, but I don't think. You can't really see the colors. There's some pops of pink in there as well as the blues. You can kind of see it. I'm sure it shows better on the other screen. Yeah. And this is fun. For me, this is a meditative knit. Crochet. A crochet, um, because um, I know the pa the pattern so well that once I start it, that I can just go and not really have to worry too much about it until I hit the end where I have to do the little special thing for the for the uh, edges and then just crochet, crochet, crochet. It's it's very very meditative. It's just relaxing and you can watch TV or talk or whatever and. And if you make a mistake, it's not hard to tink back. Right. So it's, I like the way the pops of color are showing up, but I do want to make a colorway maybe similar to this if I can figure out how to do it. Mm hmm Because um, I like it. <laughs> it's, it's kind you of You want pretty. to make more of it. Not more of it, yeah. I have an idea how to do it, but I have to see if it'll work. Mm hmm Yeah, I have, I have ideas simmering. I need to get them out of the simmering phase and into the actual doing. So I could put some stuff in my shop. Yeah, that, that would probably be good. <coughs> Excuse me. So, are you done? Yeah, I'm done. My final one is in my medium Silver Shed USA 10th um, uh, pot anniversary bag. Um, these are Rice Krispies socks. Mm, excuse me. The pattern is Not Just Boring Boot Socks uh, by Curran Walcher. And I'm using Undead Yarn. Um, the ball band was in here. It must have fallen out. Oh, there it is. And I forgot to say that this yarn was gifted to me by Kara. It's a very nice gift. Thank you, Kara. This is the Witch Base, which is 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon, 274 yards. And that's an old yarn. Yeah. Um, and the pat the colorway is Snap Crackle, Oh Crack, yeah, Snap Crackle, Oh Crap pop. Not quite sure why she named it quite that way, but <laughs> you never know with Heidi. <laughs> uh, so Jeez. it's rather fun to wear. It's got a lot of grays in it, but it's got like pops of pink and like yellow in there. I'm not sure what she was, what, what she's referencing, but um, uh, it's very pretty. So it's not really, uh, I mean, I do have a couple sauce of gray in it, but it's still quite different from them too. Cause I think both of my West Yorkshire spinners have gray in them. Although Owl's more brown than gray. Uh -huh. But yeah, this got some work on it. I don't know how I got tangled in here. Um, tangled up in pink and blue. and well, There's no blue. Yeah. I just wanted to make it blue. Um, I'm painting the yarn blue. So yeah, I'm just making it worse. Are you? Yeah. I'll take a look at it a little no, bit. No, it's okay. Too. It's it's not that it, it's not tangled in the way you think. It's oh. it's wrapped around my cord. Oh, okay. No, I it's not that kind of tangled. Um, it's the kind of tangle you just need to try to figure out how <coughs> you got it <coughs> in the bag to cause that. I'm not coughing because I have a cold. I have a tickle in my throat. There we go. And just you know how, how it just sits there and you can't. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I used to get it when I was singing mm -hmm. in choir. And that, that's <coughs> a bad time to get that. 
<coughs> Excuse me. I wish it would go away. <laughs> don't have any tea left to make so, it go away. Not very far. Just enough to get it started. Um, and to know about where I am. Um, is that the second one or the first one? Oh, no. This is the first one. This is yeah. brand new. Okay. So, like I said, I just wanted to get far enough that I was just doing the main part of the sock. Right. So, yeah. Any more projects for you? Yeah, I have one more. Okay, so this one, the one I'm working on right now, is the Virtual Hug Shawl from the Scrap Shawl Pattern by Anastasia Sattel. And this is going to Laura when it's finally finished. Laura Concert. And it's in my Universal Studios canvas bag. It's a very sturdy bag. Very sturdy. And I'll show you here. I want to maybe finish this row before I change colors. Um... And this one's growing as well. I mean, look at how big this one is. It's about a shawlette size or a small shawl. So it is growing. So it is growing. I, I This is another one that is just relaxing for me. Mm -hmm. You know, I can, um, I know I can just pull back and be fine mm -hmm. and fix it. So, yeah, that's where, that's where I'm at with this. Yay. Yay. Don't have much more to say about that. So that leads on to FOs. I don't have any. And I do, I have exactly the FOs I, I was hoping to have. Um, because I kind of focused on them. Oh, first of all, Sash and Hands are for you. Yay! You aren't getting the green because I can use that for, he, for your heels and toes. Okay. Uh -huh. Is this my flame on? That's your flame on. Okay. So, speaking of flame on, oh, I meant to go with sock blockers and a gent. Um, you put your hand in it. No, I'm not gonna do that. Because the only reason why I wanted the sock blockers was to the hand's not enough of a shape. It was just to pull out the. Uh, leg. No, it's okay. Um, I with the brace with the brace. Yeah, you could probably put your phone in it to help with the leg. No, it's okay. It's an, it's not a big deal. It's gonna just warp it weirdly. Um, so there you go. Um. Uh, because I still have to stick my hand in there if I do the phone. It's just not worth it. Yeah. The braces and then ring. Just no, no. It's not worth it. Then I also finished. Did you show it to him well? Yeah, I, should, I did. I showed both socks. Okay. Um, I mean, it's there's not that much to see. It's it's a very plain sock. It has ribbing to it? Yeah. Yeah. It, it's just not just boring boot socks better. Right. Um, and I've shown the flame on pet. Uh, colorway for a while which is a pretty colorway but it's you know it's yeah. it's it's the not just born suit botox pattern it's not a uh like a I can't it's it's a nice simple pattern yeah well you don't always need to have a socks you know yeah it's it's what I can when I want to knock out a pair of socks quickly I can start that it's not like the peridot ones which are the ones I really wanted the blocker for um so, so f finish the second one. And this is also your yarn. Yep. Master uh, of the Hunt. So it's Master of the Hunt. So that means the bag that had the um, socks in them are out, back out of rotation. So it gets to take a break from the name calling. Uh, because I'm trying to get some off the needles and necessarily replace them right away. Other than things like um, the uh, you know vanilla sock for K and um, the not just boring boot socks, I tend to keep those on the needles. But other than that, I'm trying to cycle through some of these socks so I can get some of them done because I started a bunch of them at a time. So I have a bunch of socks on the needles, right. so I'm trying to concentrate on some. Focusing on ones that are heavier weight first, just simply because they provide more padding on the bottom of my feet. Right. Um. So, yeah. You done? Yep. Okay, I'm going to put this away so we can move on to other stuff. What's next? Um, excuse me. 
pest shop and for me I did work a little bit very little bit on my design in the bag that Laura uh, gave me with my name on it made and gave me we have personal bags so that is it has a design in progress and they're barely worked on it okay I've been pretty much focused on finishing some socks I'll tell you guys my current my real show notes are still downloading when we've been podcasting for almost an hour <coughs> okay my shop um, nothing really happening right now I had hoped to have some some stuff in the shop to show you but I I had a feeling that I wouldn't be able to get anything in I well it's not like you had a whole lot of time no I didn't die. I had between appointments and doing stuff for Davina's birthday and stuff and well the appointments were before the last podcast <coughs> Were they? Yeah. Because that's why we pushed the podcast back to Wednesday. Okay, that, but, but it still imp impacted it because... It did. It yeah. did. Uh, but your po this podcast, <laughs> you only had <coughs> Thursday, <coughs> Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You, I mean, you had about four and a half days. And Thursday, I had a dental appointment on Thursday. Mm -hmm. And then Friday, my husband's home and I have all kinds of things going on. So that... Have, we had Zoom. We had a, we had a live, live stream. stream. And uh, Saturday was, you know, Davina, Davina. And Sunday was Davina. So, yeah, well, not a whole lot of time. To, and I know it sounds like a broken record, but I truly am having trouble finding time to do things. I'm trying to streamline stuff, but uh, haven't been really successful in that so far. We'll see what happens. Well, I mean, is there a way for you to... Like, keep, you know, if at the end of the day or at certain points of the day, just kind of look at me like, wow, I, you know, probably should have filled this time with X or. Well, I know what <clears throat> part of the thing is that we need to maybe start our tea half an hour before we're actually going to do it. You know what I'm saying? Start well, the, the thing is that you don't, you really hate your tea getting cold and. I can't well, be in I'm the not, kitchen I'm, and doing this. I'm not so much. I'm not so much. I'm not even talking about this. I'm not talking about the podcast. That's oh, not, okay. I'm just talking about on a normal, regular basis. Mondays, I can't do anything. Yeah. Monday, we have podcasts. We have this. We have that and the other thing. I might be able to get something done in the afternoon after I do my walk, maybe. <clears throat> but, um, you know, Tuesday through Saturday, or Thursday, th Tuesday through Sunday, Saturday and Sunday, we don't usually do anything. So Tuesday through Friday, maybe, you know, I have to make sure that we do the hour and a half uh, when we do our tea time and not go over to like two and two and two and a half hours because that takes a lot of time. Yes. The other thing I have to look at is, you know, I've been doing a lot of extra aerobic type stuff on both machines. And then well, you wonder why you're on time. It's, it's even if I cut off five minutes from this one and stick to the 45 over there, um, because we're walking in the afternoon now. It's not like the winter time where, yeah. you know, I had to, you know, keep everything going because we're not walking because it gets dark early or whatever. But, yes, yeah, so that, that we can talk about later. In, uh, whatever. Okay, so I don't have, I really don't have a lot of shopping news. Just keep an eye on the shop. We did, <laughs> we did talk about manly men, uh, people to maybe inspire colorways, which was fun. Yes. Uh, Renna put a whole bunch in on one of the, uh, on the uh, episode thread in PHN. Good. Yeah, so she's, she said she's going to show her age. <laughs> I said, well, I, I recognized all those people. <laughs> so, um, but anyway, that was fun. Um, was so it? we'd love to see your um, comments. We had fun um, coming up with some ideas, brainstorming with the people who are live stream with us. It was pretty funny because Ty had asked Pat to talk about her autism conference. I wanted to hear about it, but I wanted to make, wait until more people got there because it was just the three of us. Mm -hmm. And so we started talking about Manly Man colorways and when, you know, Patty showed up and I forget who else uh, showed up. Yeah. Pat, Patty. It was just Patty who was there. Was it just three, the four of us? Uh-huh, yeah. Well, I thought there was one more person. No. It's a, um, what was I going to say? I don't know. I don't remember. Well, I thought there was one more person. In any event, there was four or five of us, and we spent the entire live stream going through Manly Men. Mm -hmm. 
we never got to the conference, which is why there's a wonderful thread in the PHN home group regarding what she learned at the Autism Awareness uh, Autism Conference. So I'm looking forward to reading that. I haven't had a chance yet. But there it looks, were huh? um, two of us, one of Brittany. No, Brittany um, wasn't Nancy there. Nancy wasn't right. there very long. Who? Nancy wasn't there very Nancy, no. Nancy wasn't there. Thought someone had to pop out. Brittany wasn't there either. No, Brittany wasn't either. Pat was there and Patty. Pat and Patty. I thought there was one more. Oh, well, I apologize to whoever it was if you were there. Uh, not remembering. Tanya, wake up. I'm awake. Okay. What's next? Um, next is any stash enhancements. Oh, I have a couple. Do you? Oh, I, did. I have the one. Um, got a very lovely... We both got this. Well, not the same one. No. Here's the outside of the card. Hers is a donut, donut and mine is a panda. I love pandas. They're cute. And then it says, you're so sweet. And mine says, thank you for your kindness. Isn't that adorable? So, very awesome. It's so cute. And she... Very nice note inside. I uh, chose to do the donut because of my making the donuts. I actually need to get back on the onto my snake again. It's just that I've been on a sock fever because I feel like I need to get socks done. Um, Brittany, tell J.D. that Davina really loved her gift. D uh, J.D. sent her a wonderful birthday gift, and Davina loved it. Dad was impressed by the card. Yeah, the card was amazing. J.D. made her a card. Mm -hmm. So... Um, there will be a thank you note forthcoming for Brittany and I don't know if, uh, for JD and I don't know if it's gonna be a letter or a card Davina you know <laughs> Davina does what Davina does but she'll be getting something right as a thank you because she was and she was very very grateful she was excited that she would be able to color with these pens mm -hmm. um, now the other thing this is for you guys um, by you guys PH enters yeah you PH enters um this is from Christina, who is Mama C, who is very generous and keeps us in prizes. She said that um, whatever cow we want to, the prize is for two skeins of yarn. So that means there are two prizes in here. Um, and it's Croy, Patton's Croy socks. And the color looks to be some kind of heathered gray, maybe. Oh, that's pretty. Um, it's really pretty. Oh, okay, there's two that are like a brown. A silver or brown? I can't really tell. This one here. Is that a tweed? Um, I'm not sure if it's a tweed or it's a heather. It might be a tweed. In any event, um, boy, she's organized. This is Bin L. <laughs> I wonder how many bins she has if she has a Bin L. No, this this is not tweed. Goody. Okay, so these, these will be two prizes. The darker one will be one prize, and the lighter one will be another prize. Christina is amazing. She keeps us in prizes. She yes, helps she us does. in many, many ways. So we are very, very appreciative of her uh, generosity. I have not had a chance to let her know we got the package because I think we got it on Saturday and things got hectic. Mm -hmm. So I didn't get a chance to write to her. But we are very appreciative of her generosity. It was very sweet of her. And she, uh, she's just an amazing person. We're, yes. we're very grateful yes. to her. Put this back in here. In, 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 in. She's, she's more uh, talented than I am, apparently. <laughs> my my story, and I'm sticking to it, is the fact that it's been folded over once, and so it's tighter. Wake up, Kaya. Really? No, you're not. You're really not. Okay. I just, just shut my eyes a second. Uh huh. I don't feel like having to close this by myself. Um, yeah, okay. And I have one more stash enhancement. I went to, um, I went to, um, to Michael's with my husband and Davina for Davina's birthday. And I picked this up. I'd looked at it before. Crochet rag dolls. And the interesting thing in these is that they're almost like, um, almost like loveys. Mm-hmm. I mean, their their bodies are flat, kind of, and they're just adorable. They have all kinds of really cute little, they have puppies and owls uh, and bunnies and robots. Pug. They have a pug. <laughs> Look at the pug. Isn't that cute? And they have an owl in here. 
Um, that's the, I think this one's a penguin. Um, and it's really, really cute. The, it's, the book has um, amazing... Oh, here's all the patterns on the back here. I don't know if you can see this. Do you see all these? Yeah. I think we're going to be signing off in a minute here because Talia's not quite awake. And they have clothes and everything. They have a princess oh, doll. Um, here's some of the others. And most of them have mom and baby hmm. with appropriate clothing. So, you know, some little kid can, uh, or even an adult who just likes to dress up their, their, uh, toys, you know, their, their little decorative toys that go on the bed or whatever they have. What's I like about, change um, clothes. the build your own patterns? Yep. Me too. Is you can knit whatever toy it is you want and then you can knit the whole catalog of clothes. Which one was that? Was that the one that we had? You, you like the bear. I have the black and white bunny. Oh, right, right, right. she's sitting right. there waiting right. for her nurse's dress. Now, that one book, do you remember that book we got and we gave it away for a prize where you could mix and match? That one was, was it knitted or crocheted? Oh, I don't remember the book, so. Yeah, it, it, we gave it away for a prize. Um, I forget what it was. Um, and it was mix and match. It was like those books that you can have a head of this and a body of this and a, and a feet of this and mm. make whatever. Um, you, know, you had those stories where you can do that. Right, those generally don't turn out too well. Well, the 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 things that they had, they were really cute. Mm -hmm. But yeah, read me in stories. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so I think we need to get a move on because Taya is not helping me. So hey, I I'm not actually asleep. The light feels like it's boring boring into my brain. Well, why didn't you say something? Because because we could have maybe lowered the light. No, a little we bit. need the light. Um. All right, we're gonna. I don't think we have anything much to say except for um news uh i uh did i tell yeah i did tell yeah, about my diagnosis yeah we both had our appointments yeah. last time so actually there isn't any news because nothing's changed no i just i did i found out i can go for a walk in on my um my x-ray and i also have my night guard for my mouth so that um i'm not doing whatever it is i do at night seems to be helping a little bit I well, do need to really tell. Really. No, she said we could almost tell almost oh, immediately. Really? But I, I want to ask. I wake up and I have some pain in my jaw to start, and I feel like it's almost butting up against the lower teeth against the front mm. teeth. But it goes away, so I don't know if that's normal. If that's normal, I can just okay. I'm gonna have a little discomfort for the first half an hour in the morning. That's fine, right. as long as I know what it is, because it does help. Um, and we, it doesn't help to know what's going on to figure out what's going on up here when we have so much weather because the weather seems to affect it as well. Right. But it hasn't been like it's been in the past. So I think it right. is help, helping. I've had it for almost a week. Um, is that right? Almost. No. You got it when you went to your dentist appointment, which was on... Was that Thursday? Wednesday. No. It was Thursday. Thursday. It was Thursday. So it hasn't been quite a week. But they wanted, they wanted to have a checkup with me on Tuesday. So that's tomorrow afternoon. No, I'm... I'm sorry. I am going in on Thursday to to check in with them to see how it's how it's uh, actually working, and that's fine. I'm looking forward to that. Hello. I'm I'm here. I, I just closed my eyes a second. Okay. We're we are. Do you have anything else to say? I'm sorry. This is this is really. I don't know how you know the second I close my eyes. It's not your eyes that I'm doing. It's your head. It starts doing this. But I only just closed them. But your head is already going down. I can see it in the screen. <laughs> it really just feels like I shut my eyes. Well, I know. I know. Well, if that happens though when you're really tired or when you when you don't think, you know, uh, like you said, you might be doing your rosary or doing something, and all of a sudden you're awake. Mm -hmm. It's it's just it, you don't realize because you're not quite cognizant of what's mm -hmm. happening. It just happens. It's not a big deal. So we want to thank. I'm not going to thank people individually who who posted on YouTube and on the. Uh, homepage because um, I don't have the up-to-date notes because it never came through my Kindle so I apologize for not doing that we do appreciate all comments yes um, I do apologize for the kind of haphazard podcast it's not our normal haphazard podcast I think we just maybe should have waited um, um, I did tag you for something on PHN um, I saw it okay I answered it it was um, about 
the one that confused me was the MDX, I think it was called. So I went and looked it up, and it's some kind of 3D. It looks almost like origami. I figured, you know, if you're making the thing and it's mm. a paper craft, and I did look up the first one. I already, yeah, I already knew what the first one was. So. Yeah, I wasn't familiar with either of them. Um, what was the first one again? So something about making some sort of cards, trading cards. I oh yeah, I just figured you're making trading cards. So as long as it's, I figured that I agreed with Ty 100 percent. If you're making it yourself, and it has to do with paper crafts, then that's fine. Yeah. I mean, that's fine. We have enough people in our group, myself included, that do paper crafts. We're also including drawing in that. Mm -hmm. If you're if you're an artist that you draw, that's all in there. It's not for prizes unless one of the other of us gets kind of in the mood to just give a prize randomly. Right. It really is just for fun. It's for fun and to give people inspiration and ideas. Right, cause because I mean, uh, there are people who really enjoy paper crafts. Uh -huh. I don't happen to be the person that kind of person who does paper crafts, but I enjoy looking at other people. I'm just not inclined in that way. I've always liked to work with paper. Um, I, I don't know. I've never had an inclination. I've always wanted to be able to do or, origami, but I'm not very good at it. It's, you know, of course, I've never really given it a fair shot, to, to be quite honest. But I think they're cute. They make, like, make little mobiles and things mm -hmm. like that, or you put it on your cards or whatever. So I might, you know, take a little more of a, <laughs> like, I need another holly, hobby. I was telling my husband, I don't have time to do all the things I already want to do. Mm -hmm. I can't keep adding. And I found out that I may be able to join a writer's group. Uh, my husband is all on board for it. Um, it meets the first Friday of the month. So I'll have to see if I want to do that or not. Um, and that's another thing, right? <laughs> so, anyway, uh, I'm sorry that this is um, not maybe as entertaining as normal and that we've just kind of had to kind of muddle through it. We appreciate you sticking with us if you stuck through us through it with us uh, this far. And hopefully next week it'll be better. Yeah. Um, hopefully we can get her to stay awake and I will be more cognizant. Um, she, it, and, and in her defense, she isn't always asleep. It's just she's, you know, it's hard to stay awake with the weather. Well, and my symptoms have been yeah. for a while steadily becoming more of an issue yeah yeah we haven't we, she still has a shared story over a year later so uh yeah i think we finally hit the year mark because i think i gave it to you mother's day yeah so last year yeah so we just yeah it's been it's been she's been hard she crashes after about you know an hour or two out so we want to have to we're going to have to just uh say goodbye and wish you that you have a very wonderful a uh, week full of knitting, crochet, whatever it is, makes you happy. And we hope you'll come back for the for the fun in the woman cave. It will be fun again next week. Uh, next week. And this is the Pen, Hook, and Needles podcast, episode 405. Is that right? Yeah. 505. 505. 505. And it arrive. There. It's right there. I didn't feel like getting it. <laughs> She's going to make me get it. Ted Hook and Needles podcast, episode 505, and that's a wrap. Very good. Oh, bye. Bye. <laughs>